hello guys i have an update to share with you but before then wherever you are good morning good afternoon and good evening depending on your location at this time of the day okay um in my previous update i shared a video with you an update of the visit of uh, Oju Zokalu to ipo builder in dss custody so today being tuesday the the council if i need job for lawyer to Mazinam Dikanu have protested the visit of Oju Zokalu to Namdekanu in DSS custody, uh, saying the visit violated court order. But the Jofo raised the objection in a statement issued in Abuja today being Tuesday titled Update on a visit to a noble client Oyen Dumazi Namdekanu at the DSS headquarters Abuja on November 29. 2021. Ejofo said Kalu told the legal team that he was coming to visit Kanu in detention but visited him earlier alone, aided by the DSS. Visited Namde Kanu alone, earlier by the DSS. Okay, so let me quickly um, share the statement of Ifa Ejofo with you. Uh, then, the, because everybody, when the news came out, People already know that um, it has everything to do politically. The same DSS that wouldn't allow his friends, his family member uh, to visit him without any court order. They are the same people that allowed Oju Zokalu to visit him. I mean, something is fishy somewhere. Okay, everybody have seen that. But um, let me quickly share the statement with you guys. In quote, we can at the best describe what transpired yesterday Monday between a visit whom the detaining authority um, added to violate the court order guideline for visiting our client at bizarre and unusual. The DSS is not oblivious of the terms of the court guideline, which they have consistently maintained in the past that it must be obeyed to the letter and through which position they had denied many friends and attorneys of our client access to him. However, caution was thrown to the wind yesterday and instead of insisting on this full compliance with the existing guideline, the DSS for reason best known to them allowed a visitor access to our client even before the time schedule for the formal visit and without his lawyers being present during the visit. It is of serious concern that the visit was conducted without strict adherence to the court ordered guideline, but more uh, condescending that the visit later became a subject of political gimmicks. If we, a client's attorney, his flesh and blood brothers, and his wife will visit him in due compliance with the court ordered guideline. How can the DSS authorize a visit from any other person in gross violation of this guideline? There is more to it that, than meet the eyes, which the DSS is now under a compelling duty to explain to us. Granted that his name appeared among the list submitted at the 11th hour alongside the names of the lawyers scheduled for the visit, but hurriedly proceeding to conduct the visit without us being present in line with the requirement of the guideline left us with many unanswered questions. We have initiated a formal process toward ensuring a thorough investigation of what transpired and we shall not hesitate to formally address the wall on this subject if there is any attempt to sweep a petition under the carpet. We may not wish to speak further on this subject or even discuss a client's position on this visit pending the outcome of investigation on the DSS, authorized violation of the court or that guideline. Inasmuch as we have demanded an immediate investigation, we are not by any means insinuating that visitors of our client's choice are not permitted or restrained from visiting him henceforth. 
But our position is that every visit to our client must conform with the already set out guideline by the court. We shall keep you updated as we navigate through this turbulent path, but just note that victory and nothing less than victory is our goal, and it shall surely end in victory. Okay, guys, so um, without wasting much of your time, that was the statement issued by Ifani Ejofo. So like I said, I don't know what you guys think, but um, for DSS to allow uh, Ojo Zokalu to visit Namdekano without the guideline, these are the same people that restrict his friends, brothers, to visit him. But why do they allow, why did they allow Ojo Zokalu access to him without as in the court guideline is something that baffles everybody. I mean, just like what if I first said here, they must carry out an investigation because uh, nobody knows what is going on, okay? But however, I quickly want to update you on this. If you have anything to contribute, uh, put it down in the comment section below. See you guys in another update.